Is our universe the only one in existence? Well, according to some scientists, perhaps not. I'm your host, James, and today I'm discussing the top 10 unexplained phenomena that suggest we're living in a multiverse. We're going to kick off this list with cold spots. So back in 2015, astrophysicists in Hawaii discovered a large barren area in space. It looked as if everything in the area had just been like erased away, a giant black void where 10,000 galaxies should have been. It, it soon became known as a cold spot. And scientists at Durham University have a pretty interesting theory about this mysterious super void that perhaps this cold spot is the result of a parallel universe colliding with our own, shoving all this energy out of that particular area of space, and that maybe we're just one bubble universe out of trillions. Of course, it's only a theory, but uh, it's a pretty cool idea. And uh, speaking of bubble universes, number nine, bubble universes. According to the theory of cosmic inflation, the early universe underwent a rapid expansion. In this scenario, different regions of space would have undergone independent inflation, creating bubble universes within a larger multiverse. So shortly after the Big Bang, the universe underwent an incredibly rapid expansion, like a cosmic blowing up of a balloon. This is the essence of the cosmic inflation theory. The idea here is that during this rapid expansion, multiple pockets of space-time formed, each becoming its own universe with its own set of physical laws and conditions and uh, who knows what else. And these separate pockets, like bubbles, could exist as distinct universes with a, a grander multiverse. So while we go about our lives in our corner of the cosmos, countless other universes could be out there, each, each with its own unique arrangement of matter and energy. At number eight, we have black holes. So yeah, black holes, they've been talked about to death, but not by me on this channel yet so I'm excited to talk about them. Black holes are cosmic bodies possessing a gravitational force that is so powerful that nothing, not even light, can escape from their grasp. They're formed from the remnants of massive stars that have collapsed and are characterized by an incredibly dense core known as the singularity and the event horizon, the boundary surrounding the singularity, which marks the point of no return, beyond which the gravitational pull becomes overwhelming and uh, it, you're just getting sucked in no matter what you do. Now, as to what happens to everything that gets pulled into the black hole, that's the question. There are only theories. Some scientists posit that there is no other side of a black hole, while others theorize Objects could be, you know, maybe pulled into the future or across time, the quantum loop gravity theory. And then you have the idea that perhaps black holes pull objects in and spit them out in other parts of the universe, or maybe even another universe altogether. There are all kinds of theories, but the point is black holes are, are just an enigma. The mathematical universe theory. This theory suggests that different mathematical structures represent separate universes. Uh, as there are infinite mathematical possibilities, there would be an infinite number of universes. It suggests that our universe is made of pure mathematics, which is bad for me. I failed terribly in math in school. So like a giant cosmic equation, every aspect of our existence from particles to galaxies can be described and understood through math. But here's where the multiverse aspect comes into play. The theory proposes that different mathematical structures give rise to different universes, each with its own funky set of rules. So imagine an infinite collection of parallel universes where anything goes in terms of, of physics and math. In one universe, gravity might pull you sideways, while in another, it might pull you up. So there's a possibility that our universe is just one in an infinite amount. Number six, the slap. So this one's a little bit different this is a story posted to Reddit. So you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Who the heck knows if anyone posting stuff like this online is actually telling the truth or maybe just confused about the things they saw. But skepticism aside, it's kind of a freaky story. And if the multiverse really does exist and can perhaps overlap at times, causing a glitch in the matrix, if you will, then uh, who knows? So the story was posted to Reddit by ZJoe12. So one day, uh, a guy had been 
standing outside his apartment building smoking a cigarette. Unexpectedly, his girlfriend shows up in a taxi. He was surprised but pleased to see her, but uh, she just scowled at him and then splat him across the face without even uttering a word. And then she stormed past him and entered his building. He followed her to his apartment, questioning her along the way. Inside, she swiftly gathered her belongings, hurling a few items at him before accusing him of cheating. And then she said she never wanted to see him again and left the apartment in a taxi. So the guy's just standing there on the empty street, totally confused, scared, and sad because his girlfriend's just broken up with him. But just moments after the taxi had driven away, he was suddenly embraced from behind by the same woman, his girlfriend. He's very alarmed, he turns to face her, and uh, she greets him cheerfully, totally oblivious to what had just gone on. The guy was completely confused, so he hurriedly rushed upstairs without even saying anything to her. He reaches his apartment and discovers that uh, her bag is still missing, the broken items are still there, the door still wide open. Both of them found themselves utterly bewildered and shook. It seemed impossible possible that he would have mistaken her for someone else, especially since she was an only child. So yeah, twin theories are out the window. They took a look at the building's surveillance footage and uh, sure enough, the recordings confirmed his account of following a girl into his apartment. Although the camera angles and video quality made it difficult to discern her face clearly. Now, if this is actually true, there could still be a rational explanation, but uh, perhaps this is an instance of a parallel universe colliding with ours for a brief time. Next up we have the simulated multiverse theory. According to this theory, our universe is just one big computer simulation. Uh, yeah, this is the Matrix one. Maybe this is just a simulation, man. Whoa. And as to who could be running it, the possibilities are endless. Extraterrestrial life, humans from the future running a big ancestor simulation. You could go nuts thinking about this. And if there is indeed one simulation running, there could be numerous other ones running simultaneously, each representing a, a separate universe. Again, just a theory, one that is, as it stands, impossible to really prove and at the same time can't be disproven either. So we just don't know and we may never know. So that's a fun idea. And here's another fun idea. Philosopher Preston Green stated that maybe it would be best for us not to figure this one out because if we were to definitively prove our lives are all taking place in one big complex simulation, uh, simulation might end. So once again, this one is just a theory, the daughter universes or many worlds theory. This theory is an interpretation of quantum mechanics and suggests that every possible outcome of a situation or event creates a separate universe. Imagine you're faced with a decision like choosing between two paths. According to this theory, each choice you make would lead to a different universe branching off from your current one. In one universe, you might choose a path A, while another, you might choose path B. All right, number three, we have one of my favorites, the Mandela Effect. Oh yeah, everybody's groaning. We'll all heard of this one. I still find this one very fascinating though. The Mandela Effect as a strange phenomenon it seems to mess with our collective memories. It refers to instances where a large group of people remember an event, a fact or a detail in a certain way, only to discover that's not actually how we remembered it. The term originated from the false belief that uh, Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s, which you know, numerous individuals vividly recall happening, despite the fact that he uh, didn't. There are all kinds of famous instances of this uh, for a long time, for a lot of people, myself included. Remember the famous line, Luke, I am your father. It turns out it's just, no, I am your father. All kinds of examples. And there is a theory that perhaps these collective false memories we have are actually that of some parallel universe that we've split off into you know some other timeline and, and still have remnants of certain memories from the previous timeline. The human brain is weird though and our memories are not the best source of information so this one could be totally benign. One of them uh, for me I always remember Pikachu I always thought he had the uh, the black bit on the end of his tail which turns out not to be a thing at all but anyway. Next up we have the vanishing road. This is another reddit post so highly questionable but uh, still 
still interesting all the same. Posted by Reddit user Padjo95, the story goes as follows. About four years ago, I lived in this fairly small fly speck of a town. At the time, I had lived there for about 12 years, so I knew my way around. Our house was about a mile and a half away from the nearest neighborhood. It was tucked away on a back road with the woods surrounding it. Every now and again, I liked to take walks with my little brother. We headed up the road and decided to try and find a new path or a new clearing that we hadn't discovered yet, when we noticed something a little shocking. Just off the road that led almost directly to the neighborhood, there was a brand new paved road. Every road in that part of town was a gravel road, so seeing an out of place paved road was pretty unusual. We came to the conclusion that it must have been made within the last few days due to the modern but slow growth of the town. However, we had no explanation for how they did it so fast. We decided to explore it a bit. I remember as soon as we set foot on the road, the air became notably colder by at least five degrees. It was surrounded by some thick red trees that resembled redwoods, but uh, they were too short and non-native to our state. We walked on the road for about three miles until we decided to head back due to it getting dark. At roughly noon the following day, we set back out to explore this place, only to discover that the entire road was now missing. When I say missing, I mean the trees that were cleared to make it had apparently grown back with no sign of the redwood-like trees. We even began to explore the woods once more, but only to find no sign that it ever existed. When we asked our parents about it, they said they knew nothing about any new road work being done near us. All right, and coming in at number one, deja vu. We've all experienced this. Maybe you're even having a bit of deja vu right now, uh, this very second, because you've heard about deja vu so many times before. But despite how common this phenomenon is, there's never been a definitive explanation for it. The best scientists have been able to explain it is uh, that we're just experiencing something very similar to something that's, that's happened to us before, a memory deep within our psyche that we can't fully recall. So our brain just goes, this exact thing has happened before, your life, it's just one big time loop repeating over and over again. You get kind of freaked out for about 10 seconds and then you just go out with the rest of your day, hopefully, unless you just sit there pondering it for too long. But uh, we've never had a, a definitive 100% true explanation for it. So of course there's all kinds of crazy theories. The common one is that uh, it's a sign we're on the right path in life. Comforting, but not sure how I feel about that one. And of course the theory of the multiverse comes into play with deja vu as well. That may Maybe deja vu is the result of two parallel universes or more perfectly lining up for a brief moment. That a version of ourself from a parallel universe or universes are in the exact same situation, performing the exact same action at the exact same time. I, I like that a lot more than the idea that our lives are on this constant repeat and deja vu is just us having this brief recollection of the last time we were on this crazy ride. Yeah, I, I don't enjoy the thought of being stuck in a never-ending loop. Um, so, I'm uh, sorry I left you guys with that idea. Anyway, with all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video. Mm -hmm.